Hey floor cleaners, it's John here and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 entrepreneurial movies to inspire you and your floor cleaning business to take it to the next level. If you've never heard of me before, my name's John Williams and I run a company called AGB. We specialize in one industry and one industry only, the floor cleaning industry, and we specialize in one thing only, getting floor cleaning companies like yours, whether you're a carpet cleaner, a tile cleaner, a hardwood floor cleaner, getting you guys booked out with John on autopilot with our specialist digital marketing system. I'm on a personal mission to try and help as many floor cleaning business owners as humanly possible, not just survive, but thrive, whether that's through working with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis inside our program or through this YouTube channel. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Number seven, Startup.com. Startup.com is a documentary movie that tells the story of two entrepreneurial lifelong friends, Khalil and Tom, who decide to create an online startup called GovWorks.com, a platform to help with the management of different US municipality state activities. This documentary covers almost everything an entrepreneur experiences when starting their business, securing investment rounds, growing the company, dealing with competition, managing structural and personal problems within the organization. What I learned, the importance of strong leadership throughout the documentary, Khalil demonstrates a lot of strong leadership skills, especially when getting employees to buy into the long-term vision of the company. Something that he defends with unwavering enthusiasm, having a leadership figure like this helps the organization overcome difficult times and gives them a figurehead to rally around. So again, you know, like taking this in the context of your floor cleaning company, if you've got technicians and stuff like that, it's really important that you are a strong, inspiring leader for them because ultimately they're the ones that are going to be going into the homes every day. They're going to be working hard for you. So it's great that you have a vision, uh, cultural values inside the company that they feel inspired. They feel secure inside their job and stuff like that. So anything that you can do that's going to build that relationship with your employees is something that's going to enable you to kind of grow your floor cleaning business and establish strong employees that stick with you no matter what. Number two, to making tough decisions. There's a couple of key moments during the movie where Khalil must terminate the contracts of two long-standing employees. One of them is a co-founder. As an entrepreneur, you'll find as your business progresses, different roles are required to help the company grow. And although I just talked about, you know, the importance of having a really strong leadership and cultural values so that people stay with you like long-term and people are inspired by you and want to work for your company. At the same time, one of the things that comes with entrepreneurship, one of the things that comes with being a leader is sometimes you have to do things that aren't that enjoyable. Sometimes you have to do things that are very uncomfortable. And I've had to do that sometimes as well. And that's part of being a business owner. And through my experience having to do things I didn't particularly enjoy doing as a business owner in the past, I think that it definitely makes you grow as an individual and makes you a stronger person and a more well-rounded person as well. Number three, competition is flattery. It is easy to get disheartened by competition. So as a leader, you need to be able to lift your team's spirits up when the competition is winning. Remind your team that competition is a form of flattery and use that as a moment to inspire your team of their strength and what they can do to get on top. One of the things that we've seen in the past, again, putting this in the context of like a floor cleaning business, is that sometimes one of our clients, for example, will be running their ads and their competitors will comment or say something horrible in the comments of the ad on Facebook. Now, it's not the big problem for us. Like we can block that person. Do you know what I mean? We can remove them and delete the comments even so it's not like the end of the world for the carpet cleaner or whatever but it just goes to show that when you have competition don't freak out normally like when people are doing stuff like that normally when competition makes its presence known typically it normally means they're insecure that they feel threatened by your business so if you're doing well and things start to happen you start to you know have interactions with your competition it's probably because you're doing something right and they're doing something wrong they feel friend. Number eight, WeWork. So the synopsis of this is about the WeWork, the co-working space. Basically, it's an American documentary. It follows WeWork, a real estate company run by charismatic entrepreneur Adam Newman, part CEO, part cult leader. His business model was basically really simple, renting out cubicle style office space to creatives and freelancers in buildings, which he bought short leases on or borrowed the money to acquire. What I learned, fake it till you make it doesn't always work. As 
much as many entrepreneurs swear by this approach, we should always be aware of how far we can go with faking it, especially when certain financial obligations are involved. I completely disagree with this whole fake it till you make it thing. As we found out with that fire documentary, he tried to fake it till he made it. And guess where that landed him in a whole heap of shit? Like absolutely. So if you're thinking of starting a carpet cleaning business or a floor cleaning business and you're watching this or whatever, go out there, man, do a course, learn how to clean carpets. There's many accreditations that you can do. I've done another video on that. Go and check it out. Do a course, get the training involved, join the communities, learn the industry, learn the trade. And then when you start marketing your business, when you sign up with us and we start running your ads and we start getting your books out with jobs, then you're going to feel confident that you know what you're doing. And then your customers are going to have a great time. You're going to have a great time and you're going to be off to a great start. Next thing from this movie, maintain friendly relations with your employees. One of the conflicts that occurred at the WeWork office between the owner and employee led to the information of the company's discrepancies being leaked, which had a devastating effect on the business. Never underestimate your employees and what they're capable of. With that in mind, again, this leans into what I said before. You want to cultivate a really good culture inside your business, one that's inspiring, one where your technicians want to work with you, one where there's trust and loyalty. Because if not, if you mistreat them and things go pear-shaped, then you could end up in a situation like in this documentary. Third thing, a company's product, fundamentals, business model, and work ethic should always take precedence over the founder's charismatic presence. So ultimately, what we're saying here is, is like, leave the ego at the door. It's very, very easy, especially when you start to have like a little bit of success. The ego inflates. You think you're the man or the woman, the top, the best. Nobody's better at business than you are. And you start to get this attitude. And again, that can rub off on your teammates, on your employees, and that can create a toxic atmosphere inside the company. But also, if you're the owner and you're dealing with your customers yourself, that can really come across to your customers and can really alienate them. So nothing's more important than your customers. Nothing's more important than your team members that are out there doing the work, hard work every day for you, keeping the money coming through the door. It's really important you prioritize those people, your customers, your employees, the business in general. Leave the ego at the door. Don't bring it with you. Number nine is Margin Call. The synopsis of this movie is the plot of Margin Call revolves around key people in a large investment bank and the actions they take over a 24-hour period during the initial stages of the financial crisis. This movie is about the early days of the 2008 financial crisis, but its focus is on the psychological consequences of the people involved in the crisis rather than the financial one. Although the fictional investment bank has no name in the movie, many believe the actions taken by the firm are too similar to the ones taken by Goldman and Sachs and Merrill Lynch during the crisis. So it's kind of based on a true story, but told in a kind of fictional way about the financial crisis in 2008. So what I learned, greed is never good. Entrepreneurs must remember this at times. Margin Call tells the story of a corporation that is steeped in greed and dishonesty. Like Wall Street and The Big Short, this movie is also a cautionary tale about the corruptive power of greed. Again, this leads into what I just said. Ego, leave it at the door. Once you start to get too big for your boots, you start to get greedy. When you start to get greedy, that's when stuff starts to go wrong. Not all products that are under heavily discounted prices are goods. There's always a sketchy side to why prices go down and these products are offloaded. You have to be determined in finding out why. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Sometimes if you're buying stuff like chemicals or whatever, and let's say that they're massively discounted or the price of the truck mount seems too good to be true, you might want to just dig a little bit deeper because there might be something untoward going on. So just think about that floor cleaners. Great leaders, even managers, they don't spend their day in the weeds. They focus on the big picture, things that move the dial for their business and their people. Analyzing market trends, articulating the corporate vision and defining company culture might not sound like fun, but it's the work that needs to be done. So again, you know, we talk about that in the context of the floor cleaning industry, carpet cleaners and stuff like that. Many of you are owner operators. Many of you have ambition to go beyond that and 
the only way that you're going to be able to do that is to get off the tools, man, to get off the truck and to leverage other people's time and ability and skills to take your business to the next level. Because there's no operator, just one guy, there's only so many hours in the day. There's only so many carpets that you can clean. But if you had two guys operating two trucks, guess what? You can do twice, three times as many jobs as you could on your own. If you're the guy that's not only cleaning the carpet, you're the guy that's answering all the messages, you're the guy that's running all the ads yourself, doing all the admin, doing all the accounts, because you're in the weeds, you're out in the field, you're doing everything. It's very difficult to have that time that's required to put the foundations in place to be able to grow, to be able to think. And what will happen in the end is you'll just burn out. You're not really a business owner. You've just bought yourself effectively a 24 hour a day job. You're not really an entrepreneur. You just bought yourself a van and a truck mount and some carpet cleaning equipment. You just bought yourself a job and non-stop working. And that's not the life, right? You might be great at doing your own ads. We meet people inside AGB that tell me they do their own ads all the time. They get great results. And why should we work with you? And you know what? Like the reason why you should work with us is because it's about time. Just because you can run your own ads, it doesn't mean that you should be doing it as an owner. Rather than taking up your time, two or three hours a day, pay us to do it. Get that two, three, four hours a day back, which over the course of a week, course of a month, course of a year is a lot of hours. And go spend it with your family, man. Go and spend it recharging your batteries so that you can figure out how to take the company to the next level. Go and spend that time working on something more important. You're the owner of the business. You're the CEO. You're the boss. You should not be doing menial tasks like messing about in Facebook Ads Manager. Somebody else lower down the chain should be doing that for you. In fact, hire us. We're cheaper than if you hired your own internal employee to do this for you and buy that time back so that you can do what you should be doing, which is be a boss. It's the same with your accounts. Sure thing. You can hook up QuickBooks and all of that and do all your accounts yourself, but pay someone $100 a month. Someone that's better at it than you are, that's quicker than you are. Someone that understands the tax and all of that better than you do, that might be able to make you savings in some way, shape or form and buy that time back so that you don't have to mess around doing tax returns and all the pay work that really messes with your mind. Pay someone some money and then have them do it so that you don't have to. And then once you start to leverage other people's time, once you start to free up your own time, then in a position to be able to take things to that next level. And I've talked about this all the time. You look at all the big, you know, all the multi-millionaires, the billionaires, that's all they did. They just leverage other people's time that are better at it than they are, that have got more expertise than they have to do it for them. And then what happened was they got from A to B quicker because they didn't have to learn. They leveraged somebody else's knowledge to do it for them. And they were therefore able to get to where they wanted to be in a short space of time. Plus, they also bought their own time back to enable them to focus on the bigger picture of the business and taking it to the next level. And the last movie on the list is Jobs. And again, you know, like we're talking about Apple here. Nearly everybody these days has got some kind of an Apple product, whether it's an iPhone or a Mac or a laptop or an iPad. Like I would say that probably if you don't, somebody in your family probably does. And again, you know, as part of everyday life, these products, this brand has become, I think it's quite an interesting film to watch to really understand the growth of Apple and where they came from and how they started out. And I think it can be really inspirational too. So there's a synopsis. In 1976, Steve Jobs, a university student at Reed College in Portland, Oregon, decided to drop out to embark on an ambitious project with his close friend and colleague, Steve Wozniak, to create a product that would end up revolutionizing the tech industry as we know it. Jobs gives us an unprecedented insight into probably the world's most loved entrepreneur, a man with outstanding vision, passion, and a deep understanding of what his customers wanted. What did I learn from this? So the importance of having a vision for your brand. If anything characterized Steve Jobs, it was his unwavering vision for what Apple would stand for, modern technology accessible for everyone. When you have such clarity in your company's core values and long-term vision as a brand, making difficult business decisions become simple. So what are you trying to achieve with your floor cleaning business in the community? What's your mission statement? Again, I've done videos on this before, but once you identify that, that really enables you, makes it so much easier to kind of come up with, to make decisions of, you know, what you're trying to achieve. So that's definitely something learned from this. Creating an innovative product, the Apple Mac completely changed our understanding of computers, characterized by their sleek design and usability, 
and the addition of color and their infamous typeface, Max quickly showed computers could be used by anyone, not just PhDs and aeronautic engineers. So again, productize your service as a floor cleaner. Try to be innovative, you know, maybe you have like a special seven step process and you use a special combination of chemicals that achieves this and you're able to get the carpet dry in record time and stuff like that. Maybe it's a combination of these things that makes your service very innovative, different to everybody else. So think about how you can differentiate your floor cleaning business to everybody else's in terms of your products and your services and you're going to be onto a winner. And then the third thing is be proactive and begin with the end in mind. Steve Jobs did not accept being fired from Apple as the end of the road for his career and instead he started various companies. When putting plans and ideas together, Jobs would always think about the end result or product. So yeah, I think setting goals for yourself in general, trying to figure out like where you're trying to get to. I want my company to be this big. I want to have two trucks on the road. I, I want to achieve this. It definitely helps to have something to like aim for. And so in this context of like floor cleaning, I'd certainly lean into that as well. So those are the top 10 entrepreneurial movies that I recommend that you check out if you haven't watched them already. In the description of these videos, you will find links to the trailers and I'm pretty sure on Amazon, Netflix, so on and so forth, you'll be able to find these movies online. So enjoy watching them over the holiday season, be inspired and take your own business to the next level. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button down below so that you get notified when the next video comes out. And if you'd like to find out a little bit more about working with us on a one-on-one -on -one basis, if you want more jobs for your carpet cleaning business, your hardwood floor cleaning business, shoot down to the description below as well where you'll also find a link to schedule a call with us so that we can run you through how everything works and get you signed up. Speak to you soon.